Wow, this is so epic. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we are doing another GoPro vlog. This whole thing is going to be filmed on the GoPro Hero 8 again. And today we are actually heading to Tennessee. We're going to be staying in the Smoky Mountains in a cabin just outside of Gatlinburg. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's going to be Andrew and I and his family is also going to be there. And yeah, we're going to do tons of photography and also just relaxing. We are heading out now. We have an eight hour drive ahead of us, almost nine hours. It's going to be a long drive, so I guess I will just fill you guys in if anything interesting happens. All right, well, first pit stop, I have to post for one of my clients, actually. I forgot to schedule it today, so we had to pull over to the side of the road to fix it. We are somewhere in Ohio about two hours in, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna post this and get going, but this is kind of a little bit of a behind the scenes of what you have to do when you're on the road sometimes. Let's actually give you guys a quick tour of the cabin because it's probably one of the coolest places I've stayed in a long time. It seriously has everything you could need and more for a secluded little getaway. And the best part is that the cabin sits halfway up a mountain just outside of the Smoky, so the views are seriously incredible. We're at the Foothills Parkway right now, just outside of the Smoky Mountain National Park, and we are actually gonna be here for six days. So it's like two o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's terrible lighting. Right now we're trying to scope out some of these mountain views for some possible star photos later. And yeah, so I'm super excited to just be hanging out. We relaxed pretty much all night after sunset. We tried to take some star photos, but it was super cloudy. They didn't really turn out. So like I said, it's harsh lighting. So we're just kind of driving around, scoping things out for right now, and we'll see what happens. And one more thing, Smoky Mountains were actually my first national park I've ever been to. Right when I quit my job in 2017, I told my manager that before I quit, I wanted to use my two weeks of vacation. And I came out here and it completely blew my mind. I had no idea that national parks were basically made for photographers where you can just pull over wherever and take photos. driving all day we went back to the cabin for a little bit we downloaded all over the offline map so pro tip if you're going to a national park or somewhere where you're not going to have service google maps lets you download parts of a map and save it to your phone so definitely do that so you are not trying to figure out where you're going but at the moment we are actually on our way up to a hike at the highest point in the smoky mountains it's a place called clemens dome um, if you come to the smokies i definitely suggest checking it out but Besides that, that has a great view that you can just pull up with your car, but there's also a hike that you can do that'll kind of take you around the face of the mountain and have more of a less obstructed view because at Clemens Dome, it can kind of be blocked by the trees. So yeah, we are heading up there right now. We are just racing up these windy roads right now. And yeah, I don't really know what to expect, but it should be good, so we're heading there now. All right, so we just made it to Clemens Dome and it's looking kind of obvious. There's some like dark clouds coming, but putting on the Merrells, finally got a pair of real hiking shoes. Well, this is coming off. It was a lot colder when we got up here and it was all cloudy, but of course now it's actually sunny again. Well, made it to 
claim in the dome and of course the top part was packed with people and there's actually somebody flying a drone don't fly drones in national park it's illegal everybody it disrupts everybody and yeah just don't be that guy let's get away from the crowds we decided to do a little bit of a hike we are doing a 1.7 mile hike it's called charlie's ball so far the terrain is pretty easy <laughs> I don't even know how far through the hike we are, but oof, it is a pretty gnarly terrain. It's a lot of up and down and like it's, you can't do it fast. I was expecting us to just knock this quick hike out super fast, but whew, that's not the case. As soon as we got up here, there was like a huge black cloud that kind of came over Clemens Dome and I was kind of worried if we should do this hike or not. So wish us luck that uh, no weather comes in. Hopefully just clouds. I mean, the Smokies are known for all of that crazy fog and smoke. So I have no problem with that. Just no rain, hopefully, because I didn't bring a rain cover for my gear. To be honest, we've been kind of lollygagging and not really going very fast. And I just checked the time and it's 8.03 or something like that. And the sun sets at nine o'clock and we do not want to get stuck in all of this in the dark. But, uh, but yeah, so hopefully we make it in time for sunset and to make it out of here. So we picked up the pace a lot and I think we actually might have made it for sunset. Uh, I'm starting to see things open up here. Let's see. Oh, this is so epic. Well, we made it to the top. <laughs> Definitely had to kick it into high gear the last couple, probably like the last mile of that. Did a little bit of shooting, but uh, I think we're gonna actually try to book it down before it gets completely dark because the sun is basically set and we don't want to get attacked by bugs, bear, or basically anything else that could be on the trail. And it's just hard to navigate in the dark. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, here we are walking in the pitch dark, absolutely sweating. For some reason, you can see my breath. I don't know why, but this was kind of a mistake to do this so close to sunset. Definitely plan out your hikes better than we did, but uh, but I'm glad we did it. I don't know if that was the correct place because, you know what, I'm too tired. We're just gonna talk when we get back to the car. Hopefully we make it. <laughs> 